So, learning goals. Why are we here for this week? Well, I think we are here to get some basic understanding of task analysis and task modeling for interactive systems. At least this is my goal to help you and hopefully this is your intrinsic goal as well. If not, you are uh, maybe in the wrong room, right? <laughs> I, I guess. I, I'm not, I don't like to teach to people who don't want to learn what I'm trying to teach them. So, okay, we agree. Okay, so I think we should understand basic concepts. So this morning I will, I will ramble around about the basic concepts I think you need. Uh, and I think you should really experience using basic techniques. Just not a picture of somebody telling a story, but doing it yourself. I think that's the best way to learn this kind of things. Uh, and, and also, I think you should experience modeling and presenting task knowledge. You, you are to find out the task knowledge, to model it in order to analyze, and, and in the end, you have to show it to your peers in, in the design teams, or to show it to the client on Friday when you are finished and you would like to have your client consider this as a serious redesign. So, we will have lectures meaning somebody talking. Today it's mainly me talking. Starting tomorrow it's mainly you talking, hopefully. Um, I will provide resources. Actually, Teresa provides resources. And, and, and the resources are there for you to find out in detail. Right? Um, there will be real clients. I got so far two clients, but as far as I can see, they, they offer me in total four different projects. I will talk with Mia about it. I, I would like to have actually four different clients so we could have small teams that really have to do the work personally. Uh, and, and you have to share the work, share the work to peers in your own design team, share the work to the other design teams and to me, and you have to collaborate on this because task analysis is complicated enough. You have to do part of the work and, and then, well, exchange it with your peers. Uh, and I would like really to have a task analysis document on Friday, a document that shows your analysis and your considerations, your modeling and your redesign, so to, to make it really explicit and, and, and tell the story in detail. And, and I would like you to present your design to the client on Friday. So th this is what, what I envision would be the way we collaborate. Yeah. Um, and how do we organize this? Well, um, I think this is uh, today, so theory, and, and after theory we will meet the client and collect knowledge for which you need already to understand some of the tools and techniques, for which you need to go to the website with the resources. Uh, just after my talking, go to the client could be to uh, study what, how you would do it. And, and for the rest of the day, I would, the rest of the week, I would like now to start at one if that's okay with you. Uh, and and, and uh, my intention is to be around till about three. I'm not sure if the room is available in the afternoon. I don't know if you already checked with Lucille. I morning. didn't check. Okay, because we have so, the room uh, for the mornings. That's for sure. Yeah, if somebody could help me uh, ask to find a place, right? Yeah. I don't care as long as we can have a projector and uh, it's fine. But, but it doesn't make sense to, to have meetings in the morning. I intended it originally, but then I found out, uh, like last week, that on Monday afternoon you cannot go to your client. So <laughs> I'm stuck, right? Uh, so yeah, if somebody can find out, it would really help me. Anyhow, uh, tomorrow, wherever we can be, we will do modeling and analysis. So today and tomorrow morning, collecting the knowledge, and, and then we are going to model this in, in systematic ways, and. For, uh, first of all, model the current situation. Just be sure to know completely all everything that's relevant currently and, and find out how it how it's structured. And, and then on Wednesday we are going to envision to look what could be in the future. How could we change it? So this could be a future task model. Um, and something is gone here. Well, I don't know what. <laughs> I lost the word or the word should be there. Anyhow. Um, on Thursday, we will do some kind of assessment of our new ideas, um, and we will develop a design document. Now, here we have a problem, because we are envisioning, we are assessing, and then we stop. This is because a week only has five days, right? If we would do this the right way, we would probably, after the assessment, find out that some of the things might not work, and we have to reanalyze and redesign and assess again. 
and reanalyze and redesign in the sense that there should be a side of here. And we just have no time for that. But I would like you to understand that this, that this is a kind of a waterfall approach, right? Which doesn't make sense in user centric design. And she has should be quite well aware of it. Okay? So it's just because we have one week, right? And, and on Friday in the afternoon, the clients will be here. And, and hopefully each of the teams can show the client what they did and why they did it and what the result is. Okay.